Hello, this is Lee with AppointmentReminder.com. And today we're just going to go through adding an appointment to the AppointmentReminder.com calendar. Now, you may be using other integrations such as Office 365 or Google, in which you'll be adding your appointments uh, to the calendar through that system and we just sync it. But this is for people that were, will be using appointmentreminder.com uh, to add their calendar appointments to the system here. And it's really straightforward. Uh, when you originally get into the system here, uh, you'll notice the calendar right in front of you. You do have the ability to change the view day, week, month. Um, and then you'll also notice additional calendars if you've done some syncing up to this point. Um, the way you'll typically know if it's a Google Sync Calendar or Office Sync, Sync Calendar is it will say it uh, right behind it here. And um, in this case, we're just going to use the uh, default calendar for appointmentreminder.com. And we've got an appointment uh, to make tomorrow on Wednesday at 10 a.m. in what we can do is go to Wednesday in the 10 a.m. slot and then just simply click on the time slot. Um, if you've already added some customers in here, you, you'll be able to use this drop down to search for it. And uh, we have not added the customer yet. So we're going to click add customer. And in this case, we're just going to add Donald Duck. And we'll save that. So now our customer will be in our database if we come to this later and, and do a search. Then we set the start time, so it's 10 o'clock to 10.30, and it's just going to be a one-off appointment. And that means simply that uh, we're not using any automation. It's just a simple uh, appointment we're putting on the calendar. Uh, then we choose what type of script. So a lot of different scripts in this demo account here. Um, you'll usually just use the default script. Uh, for it. we refer to scripts and that's basically the message going out and you can edit those one by one uh, as you see fit and then when to set the reminder so you'll have different options one hour before the default for most is set to 24 hours prior to the appointment so that's how we're going to set this and then we can choose what we want to send as far as our reminder so we would like to send a text message reminder to our customer and we would simply put the phone number in at uh, this stage if we wanted to send a phone call reminder we could put the phone uh, number in here and then if we wanted to send an email we could put the customer's email address now all those messages can be edited and changed under the script menu uh, in another part of our system um, so pretty straightforward there. And then we could just click save. So I'm just going to put a number in here. And we're not going to do a phone call or an email on this particular one. And then we'll just hit save. And you'll see that the appointment now has been added. There's also additional icons to indicate what's going to happen. So you'll see this one. This reminder is set to be sent uh, on Tuesday, the 15th of June. Uh, is when that's going to go out and it'll go out as a text message. If you see a large triangle, it's like a caution sign, that is indicating that there is no reminder that's going to be set. So you could add an appointment to this if you did not select a SMS, phone, or email, uh, there would be no reminder sent or if it came over in some type of uh, calendar synchronization that we have set up. Um, lastly, on this, you can just go up to the script section as we were talking about. If you come up to scripts and then you go to open scripts, you'll be able to see what is being sent out and you'll see appointment reminder default. Just hit edit. And then on the left hand side, you're going to see a couple different options uh, that you can go in and edit the SMS text message that's going out, the email message that's going out. If you set up voice, if you're going to do a voice message, you do need to verify the phone number that's going to be sent and that's covered in a separate section. Mm -hmm.